Hi everyone, um, welcome back to my channel. Um, so I popped on today because I wanted to do um, another uh, quick project share with you and this one is another Christmas make and this is a first for me. Um, so I've made my first Christmas stocking and um, I was a bit nervous about the first but I have to say I have thoroughly enjoyed making it. Um, so I'm actually doing two different Christmas swaps that both involve um, Christmas stockings and um, yeah, I've just loved making them. I really, really have. And I've loved, you know, decorating. I think we all love decorating the things um, once they're kind of put together. So I wanted to show you this one um, kind of now because it's going to be heading off fairly shortly. Um, the other one um, isn't decorated or anything like that yet. But of course, when that's done, I'll pop on to show you that. So without further ado, ladies, um, this is my Christmas stocking. So as I say, it's a first for me. And um, I have gone with the colours of cream, um, like a darker pink and a baby pink. And then there was hints of kind of silver. So, um, yeah, I didn't think of using a template. Um, I just kind of drew it and, you know, cut out my two pieces. And I sewed, um, obviously, the two pieces together um, on the sewing machine. So very delighted with myself <laughs> with that one. Um, yeah, and all fingers are still intact where they should be. So that's always a good thing. And, um, yeah. So I'm going to show you, so the base material is like this um, cream, it's heavier than a cotton, it's not, um, it's a very hard material to describe, it's between a cotton and a calico kind of, um, it's a heavyweight cotton, that's the best way to describe it. So that's cream, and then as you come down onto the boot part, um, I have just put um, this um, crochet the whole way around, and this was a wider um, crochet, so what I did was I actually... Um, snipped it in half so I was able to use it then as a thinner border and I loved the way that it looked so kind of you know raggedy on the edges because that's what I was kind of looking for um the finished article to be around the edging and then here um down on this section of the boot I have put on this um flower long dangle but I have trimmed it down and kind of made almost like an applique of it and then over here at the side I'm going to bring it in slightly closer because I don't know if you'll be able to see Again, you know, it's cream on cream and there's white, so it's going to be quite difficult to show up, but I hope you're going to be able to see. And then here I have this beautiful applique and this has um, silver all around the leaves. And then each one of the leaves are like, you know, done in skeleton treads. There's a sequence on there as well. This gorgeous um, cream flower in the centre with this um, twirled um, centrepiece that has the silver thread going around it. And um, this was actually gifted to me and I cannot remember the lovely lady um, that sent this to me but it's absolutely gorgeous you know the camera isn't going to do it much justice I have to say because the sparkle of it is absolutely beautiful and the silver you know isn't going to show up and then over at the side I have this um, piece of dangle uh, trim as well where I just cut out a tiny bit of a section and then I have my dangle um, little applique with all the pearls um, at the end of it there so you can see that they're hanging off and then moving up to the picture, um, I literally, I have to say, I fell in love with this photograph um, when I seen it online and I just thought, you know, the fact I love black and white photographs anyway, I think, you know, it makes it even more um, older looking and I just think it's adorable. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm thinking it's probably of a lady, probably 1940s, 1950s style and um, she is there in her beautiful winter coat. And look at the hat, isn't the hat just absolutely fantastic? And she has the curls in the hair absolutely set to perfection. And then she has literally armfuls of her Christmas gifts ready to take home. And they're all done, you know, in the brown um, wrapping paper, you know, like they used to back then inside in the um, department stores. So I just I just fell in love with it. So it is Christmas and it is black and white. And I just thought it made... Um, you know, the creams and the pinks, you know, pop a bit more with it being um, a black and white image. And then I framed the picture in this um, dark pink um, lace the whole way around. And then on the inner one, you can see the inner frame is like a very, very tiny little flower um, lace applique. If you can see it there. And then as I move up, I've done two layers of the trim. So the uh, first one here is this beautiful um, pink dangle trim and that was gifted to me by the lovely um, Siobhan who was pearl and button. And then as I come up I have another um, one here 
which is absolutely gorgeous and this was gifted to me by the lovely Jur, who's a little snippets one here on YouTube and across the top then probably won't be able to show up but it's the um, rolled rose um, trim absolutely gorgeous and then over here on the side I have this little pink um, flower with a little diamond in the centre which was gifted to me from the lovely um, Sylvia so that's the top of the stocking and there is literally plenty of room um, to put um, goodies in there and it it's turned out quite big um, but I have to say you know I really enjoyed making it and that is just the back so I've left the back plain again you can see there where I've used um, the crochet uh, trim just kind of as piping going the whole way around and then I just added um, the little frill um, lace with the embroidery detail on the back and um, yeah so that is my first attempt at a Christmas stocking um, I really enjoyed it I have to say <coughs> and um, I'm enjoying you know getting the other one together and looking forward to decorating that one up as well um, something a bit different for me something which I've never tried before and I love trying new things and can you know challenge myself to um, new bits and pieces especially when it comes to fabric you know fabric um, is still something that is actually very quite new to me and um, I'm loving it absolutely loving it and I love putting the bits and pieces together to decorate it so ladies um, I hope you like that as I say very quick project share um, I just wanted to come on and show it um, show it to you and you know take some photographs of it and put it up on my Instagram account um, you know before I put it in the post and send it off um, to the lovely lady who's going to receive this and um, it's going to a very very lovely lady um, who I know is going to love it um, so yeah without further ado ladies I'm going to say goodbye for now thanks everybody for watching and for your lovely comments and for your continued support um, it means so very much so goodbye for now and I'll talk to you all very soon